have you checked the children? Oh, oh, hi, I'm Chuck. Hi, I'm Chuck. Hi, I'm Chuck. Hi, I'm Chuck. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the horror show again. I'm Cecil Laird. Robert Duell. And Jaime and Fuego here. And we are once again back here at Mad Monster Arizona. And we are doing some reviews here because we have a little bit of time to kill while we're waiting for this thing to open up. But we made it. <laughs> <laughs> guys, we are here to review a recent shutter release that we did a trailer reaction for. And I was we were like Jones in for the trailer. We, we were like, it. yeah, this this was really cool and intriguing. Mm -hmm. And it was just two people trying to tell stories to scare each other in the trailer. And I'm like, can they do a whole movie about this and stuff? And so the movie came out. And they did. And they did. Yeah. And yeah, it's an entire it movie it was great. about a two people trying to tell bigger and better scary stories. And I absolutely, my, going into overall thoughts, I absolutely love this movie. I, as a, a, a self, you know, self-proclaimed storyteller, um, I loved it. And it was so cool because it's not just, I mean, getting into the plot a little bit ahead of time, the, the, uh, it's a, just about those two people telling stories, but the filmmakers are adding sound effects as they're telling the stories and adding mm -hmm. shadows and cool camera angles as though they're showing and even the, the little, movies that they're telling. Even the little practical effects that we got for yeah. just like the, the ambiance of the story. Thing. Yeah, like, it so was cool. I, I, I just, I, I think this is a storyteller fans movie and I absolutely loved it. The acting was great. We'll get into that. And uh, yeah, I was just a huge fan of this one. So, Fuego, why don't you go next? Yeah, this one was delightfully meta, and I appreciate the hell out of that when it's actually done, done properly. And this movie would have failed miserably if not for the terrific chemistry between our two leads. Mm -hmm. They shoulder it very well. <laughs> they're funny, they're just how demonstratively they're telling their stories and stuff, especially mm -hmm. the guy. I mean, it Stormfront is so good, you know, and it's playing once again a snarky, kind of bitchy character and stuff. Oh, yeah, cash. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean, both of them were, were solid. There's, there's another person who shows up a little bit later, the, the pizza delivery guy who had funny interplay with them as well. I mean, but, but for the most part, it's a very contained story, but yet executed so hilariously. And for fans of storytelling like myself and just the, the, the art of it and also the, the self-doubt at times and also the fear of not being able to finish a story, not being able to tell an effective story. And all of this stuff resonates affect, with me. <laughs> how life can affect your ability to tell stories too. And, and also the opportunistic aspect of, you know, basically just grabbing a story sometimes out from other people's noses or from situations you're experiencing as they're happening. And so, yeah, man, I, I dug this top to bottom. Aside from the, the ending a little bit didn't work for me, <laughs> but uh, I mean, that's, that's really my only criticism, so. Yeah, it's like a hard left turn. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, story-wise, I, I really enjoyed this. Like we were saying like earlier, um, yeah, we did from the trailer reaction, like we were all excited for this and everything. Um, but even more even more so, I was like, if you like the, actually the lead, I remember him from uh, College Humor back in the day. I know I recognized him from yeah. some and I actually showed something. Cecil one of these videos, and it's called Batshit Crazy Acting Teacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's all one word, and it's fucking fantastic. <laughs> it's Hashtag really Batshit Crazy Acting Teacher. Oh, yeah, <laughs> was, and he was fantastic and everything. And, and this just shows, like, even in this, in this movie, it's like his his storytelling, basically, as he's acting, he's, he's, he's very charismatic and everything, and he's very into his roles. Mm -hmm. And that's he's, very... He's very good at being unsure that as well too. that too yeah but he's also i know it's like he's, he seems to be a very good character actor mm -hmm. yeah like, 100%. that's that's the one thing like he can he can be funny he can be creepy well, he's throwing voices exactly. and doing all this stuff yeah. and doing a little troll and i, I just the I, little I, troll aspect yeah. is hilarious <laughs> and then she's like so what happens he's like i don't no. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, let's just yeah. segue right into the acting. Yeah, obviously, yeah, real quick like, and everything. So, go ahead. Why don't you, since we, we always talk before Obviously, you. the story was great and everything. So, real quick on acting and everything. So, yeah, so we have our lead. God, it's blowing my mind. I cannot remember his name and everything. Hmm. But it was fantastic between, like, what we were saying earlier and everything. The the unsure, unsurety and um, the, the self-doubt that he has and everything with even just the, the basic storytelling and the... Um, uh, let's see what's like almost almost like kind of like a what was me kind of mm -hmm. at times now oh yeah mm -hmm. he's, he's kind of pathetic yeah <laughs> and then then you have our our co our co lady and everything like that which was our basically our strong female character and everything and she oh my gosh she was so goddamn hilarious girls get this. it done mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> and even her acting and everything between her storytelling on the 
the, the emotions that she's, she's trying to throw and everything, like they were very well done. And the pizza man, mm-hmm. yeah, the pizza man, I will tell you this, is probably one of the best parts in this entire movie. Simple as that. <laughs> I didn't like him as much as the other two, but I, oh my he, God, he no. didn't bring the movie down by any stretch. No, 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 no not his, at all. Some, so do some of his stuff, like his mm. one-liners were hilarious. He was a little too much for me. Oh, like they wow. brought him in, and it was like, it was like bringing in Gumby into like just a normal cartoon. I'm Gumby, like, damn it. Eh. Okay. <laughs> no, I mean he's just he's too elastic, too over the top for me compared to the other two for some reason. Huh? I don't know okay. why. I mean I'm just giving my opinion. Okay. That's, fair. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair enough. Yeah. Everyone uh, has their opinion. Yeah, mm-hmm. but the the main two leads were amazing, oh, and yes. it was great to see. It is funny because now Aya Cash. When I see her, I just see Stormfront, like Bam. bitchy Stormfront. Yep. <laughs> and so she was still kind of like a little bit bitchy Stormfront, but at times she would let sort of some niceties crack through and stuff like that. And and so I did dig her quite a bit. And yeah, the she pizza has, guy I thought She definitely had a that vulnerability desired. and everything while mm-hmm. having that, basically that armor up, mm-hmm. if you will. And you could you could see she played that very well of, she's still unsure about herself and everything, but she still keeps that strong facade and everything to show everybody oh i got this mm-hmm. so i that, i like that and i don't have that reference of her to whatever she, what, the, boys. Was, the boys the boys yes yeah. what was yeah, yeah she's I, in I the saw, second i still haven't finished it yeah. i know shut up shut up <laughs> shut up <laughs> now some of my favorite bits of their acting dynamic was where she was like pushing him goading him mm-hmm. you know kind of egging him on so to speak but also trying to motivate him to a degree to be a better storyteller and mm-hmm. to refine his craft mm-hmm. so i mean she was kind of analyzing and studying him yet at the same time i i do think she meant well and she was trying to help him even if there oh, are some definitely. opportunistic aspects yeah. you know and this is a movie that definitely um sings with its production design and its sound design yes i mean that more so for this than almost any horror movie that comes out the sound design matters mm-hmm. because you, you don't have effects to, or, or, or crazy imagery to lean yeah, on. Exactly. So it's all sound and it's yep. all creating the world audibly and I absolutely love when filmmakers can do that. That's the nice thing about storytelling even books. You create all that stuff inside your head and mm-hmm. that's what they did well enough with this like yeah. he was just saying with, this, with the sounds and even the small like practical effects that we did get mm-hmm. they just help to elevate that story even more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah and that's where like the, as you mentioned the lighting in this cabin is your pretty much at one location for 90% of the movie mm-hmm. and yet how how they shot it how they lit it and uh, to, I mean it's it's it doesn't even look low budge no it really doesn't at all no. it, it looks very pristine and you know clean and you know beyond the money I would presume they spent on it and that's why Shutter obviously scooped it up and with good mm-hmm. reason so. I mean look a solid idea in a one location with two Sol- well, three solid actors, two and a half solid <laughs> actors. Um, <laughs> it's it's sure, it's uh, a formula. Uh, he wasn't that sure. Uh, it's a formula that can be very winning if done right. And I think this is definitely an example of one that was done right. Definitely one I can recommend to you guys. Most I think all three of us can. So, so I think that's going to do it for our review of Scare Me. Again, it's available on Shutter right now. Definitely worth your time. Take a look at it if you've seen it. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Thank you very much to our patrons for supporting the channel. We greatly appreciate you. And until next time, I've been Cecil Laird, Robert Dole. Gracias, I've been Jaime Fuego. And remember, stay scared. scared.